Hi, Seth David here with another webcast brought to you by Nerd Enterprises Incorporated, www.nerdenterprises.com. And we're going to get right into the content on this one because we've got uh, somebody who wrote into our QuickBooks blog a while ago, actually, wondering about uh, sending emails to customers in QuickBooks. And QuickBooks does have the send emails form, but it's not really designed, the internal one is not really designed for email marketing. But the good news is QuickBooks 2010 has an actual email marketing feature which works very much like a constant contact. And so I'm going to go through uh, several options as far as how you can go about sort of marketing to your customers when you're working in QuickBooks, uh, particularly QuickBooks 2010. And I'm going to move fast. Remember it's a recording. You can review it as many times as you need to. Um, but I'm going to move fast because I do want to cover a, a fair amount of content in this tutorial. So let's go to full screen and we'll go right to sharing my desktop. Do, do, do. Sharing is caring. And that's the email that came in with the question. We don't need to do that. Here's my outline. And let's take a look at a QuickBooks uh, company file. We've got a sample company file up. Now, the thing I encourage you to explore is to look at the QuickBooks new email marketing feature. And the way you're going to do is you're going to click on company, and it's the very bottom choice here under email marketing. And I need to check my test screen here to make sure that we're up to date on the screen viewing. So you're going to click email marketing. Now I'm not going to actually do it here because this is a sample company file and it's going to be sort of pointless. But I do have a window open and prepared to show you what you'll get when you do click on that. And what it does, which is very cool actually, is it will analyze your QuickBooks data file and it will look at data in terms of your customers, how recently they've spent money with you, how much money they've spent. It'll show you your top customers and what percentage that makes up and so on. So if I bring you right over here, you'll see on mine it says your top 25% five customers spent $10,000 this quarter and uh, based on that it gives you suggestions about sending a customer appreciation email. Going down to the next category it says 172 customers who previously spent, uh, you know, the, you can see the number, have not purchased anything in the last six months. So of course there it will have another suggestion for an email that basically says something like we've missed you and you can send that email out. And then it looks at there's some uh, two first-time customers on mine that spent $85 last month. Uh, probably some online training customers where I did a private QuickBooks tutorial kind of like this one. And what that will do, of course, is it will give me suggestions about sending a, a welcome email, saying welcome to Nerd Enterprises. And so this is something I encourage you to do and look into. It works very much like constant contact, and it will pull the information directly out of your QuickBooks profile. Of course, the important thing is having the email address in the customer profile. You've got to have that. And if you're not doing that by now, it's critical that you have to be capturing email addresses for all of your clients. First of all, don't waste paper. Email the invoice that you invoice, uh, email to your customers. You know, that's what I've done for years. I get some resistance occasionally from somebody who doesn't like getting an invoice emailed to them, but I've managed to get over that with them. So that's the first thing I encourage you to do. Now, from what I saw, and I haven't looked into this that far, to be honest, because I really just discovered it in the course of preparing for this webcast. So what I saw is, is that it looks like you can send about 500 emails free of charge. Then they're going to charge you, just like a constant contact. And I'm going to look at that in a minute, too. Constant contact will charge you about 15 bucks a month. And that's the next choice um, that I'm going to talk about, is you can manually run the reports in QuickBooks, export the information to Excel, and then you can easily import those email addresses into a constant contact profile. And constant contact won't analyze your QuickBooks data, but it gives you a series of templates that you can use and customize, and it will individualize them. So it'll be the salutation will be addressed to the person individually. And it's what I use for my own email, you know, my newsletter that I send out each month. So that's the other option. If we go back into QuickBooks, what I've done is I've brought up the customer center and I want to show you how this works. So this is a sample company file and what you can do is you can click uh, the arrow at the top right of the sort of left hand margin under where it says customers and jobs. You can click this right arrow and it will reveal all of, of the columns. And you can customize this by right clicking any column header and choosing where it says uh, customize columns. 
And then on the left hand side, it shows me my available columns. I want to find the email address. And I know it's in here somewhere. I just had it. It's not there because I've already added it in. So here's the email. You can see it on screen now. And this is the way to quickly glance and see which customers of mine have email addresses and I can start filling in the ones that don't. Now again in QuickBooks 2010, we have our list features where I can go, click on lists and choose add, edit multiple list entries. And over here it'll give me the columns and I can easily scroll over to where the email addresses are and you can literally type an email address and use your down arrow to move down. So you can fill in a lot of email addresses at once. You don't have to individually click into each customer's profile, which is what you would have had to do in older versions of QuickBooks. And you can quickly get in here, type the email address, do it for a bunch of customers, and then at the bottom here, click where it says Save Changes. Now once that's done, what we can do is we can start running some reports. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to go to Reports, and we're going to go to List, and we're going to go to you can go to customer phone list or customer contact list. It doesn't really make a difference, it's just a matter of the column. And for a purpose like this, we're going to just want to come in here and pretty much uncheck everything except for the email address, which is the only thing we really want. So I can scroll down my list here, check off email, click OK, and now I've got my report in QuickBooks. And the other thing I might want to have here is a first and last name. So I can make sure that that's in here. And once I've got that in place, I can choose Export. And I'm going to export it to Excel. I'm just checking off a few options here that I prefer to have checked off. And now I've got my list. And I can easily save this and then import it into a constant contact or you can manually enter them however you prefer. That's the other way. The other thing you can do now is just take the email section, but this you won't be able to customize it in terms of addressing each person individually. But if you're not concerned about that, you can literally take all the email addresses and copy and paste them into a blind copy field in Microsoft Outlook, for example, and send out your form email. So those are basically your choices. Now, I also want to spend a couple of minutes very quickly talking about sort of best practices. First of all, one reason, one definite reason for using something like a constant contact or I'm sure the QuickBooks email marketing uh, program is that it will make sure that you're in compliance. There are certain rules that you have to maintain compliance with in terms of uh, email marketing. So for example, you have to have an opt-out option. There has to be an option on every email you send for people to opt out if they don't want to receive emails from you anymore. The second thing is you have to have all of your complete contact information in every email that you send out. It has to have your, your name, address, phone numbers. It has to, you, the people have to know how to get in touch with you in case they want to know why you've sent them this email. Um, those are the kind of the official rules, and there's more to it than that. But using Constant Contact or using the QuickBooks email marketing program will uh, sort of force you to stay in compliance. They won't let you send an email out without the necessary information included. Uh, the unofficial rules, very simply and quickly put, is you don't want to be annoying. It's going to defeat the purpose if you're so you don't want to send out repeated, incessant emails. My rule is kind of I send out one email a month. I send out my newsletter to my whole database of contacts once a month, and then I have my online community that gets a weekly email because I know they don't really mind it because they're involved in my online community. So those are people who are more closely involved with me. So I, I know I'm not annoying them, and and that's more of a personal email. That I send out. I don't use a constant contact for that. That's a direct email from me to the members of my online community. And if anybody ever gets back to me and says, hey, could you not send me these, of course I'll respect that. And that's the most important thing. But the key is using the uh, data, and you can run sales reports in QuickBooks and look at that and determine you know, whom you want to send emails to. And the other trick is offer them something. Give them a reason to want to receive more emails from you, which usually translates to offering some free offer or some discount you know, the, the frequent customers, the customers that make up the large percentage of your sales, you might want to just give them something for free and say, I really appreciate your business. And for example, on my own um, side, what I might do is I might offer them a free QuickBooks download. You know, free download, any, pick the, any QuickBooks tutorial in our learning center, and I'll be more than happy to provide that to you free of charge because that's my way of saying thank you for your business. 
And, and so you have to think along those lines. Make sure every email you send out, you're offering them something. Give them a reason to want to receive additional emails from you. And that's pretty much my quick bit. The full write-up, of course, is in the QuickBooks blog. You may very well be seeing this based on having been to the blog. So uh, visit us online at www.nerdenterprises.com and uh, check out our online community. There's a link right there on the home page to join the online community and that's where you'll see me posting frequent messages and videos and information about all kinds of stuff that if you're interested in this, you'll probably be interested in joining us there. I look forward to seeing you on the web.